Hey Sprout Squad, Sprout here. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to go through everything we shall expect from the Undecember unboxing test. Now, if you need to know how to download this game, please click my channel and look at the previous video where I explain exactly how you can do that and what you'll need. So, in this video, guys, I'm going to go through everything content-wise that's included in the game, as well as... Wait, that's pretty much it. So, do us a massive favour, guys. Like the video. Make sure you do subscribe. And let's get straight into what excitement awaits us. Light of glass, it seems you're shattering, shattering the part of me. So, guys, what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to go through some of the contents that have been confirmed for this unboxing test of Undecember starting on the 13th of October and we'll get straight into it, straight into what's going to be in it. So obviously the first thing is it's going to have character customization. There's a lot of different shaders and customization shoppings available to make your unique character. I'm going to try and make mine look as bizarre and unique as possible. Hopefully the letters have green hair because if they don't let us have green hair I'm going to be very very disappointed <laughs> i'll be honest with you next thing we've got the zodiac which is like a talent tree and it's going to be a way of improving your strength agility intelligence and additional stats uh, i'd imagine as you level up you must get points for this and you can put it in and take certain pathways to improve certain things or get buffs or whatever next we've got the rune system which is going to be in the game. And as you can see from this screenshot, it's basically the freedom of skill, combination and connection, as you may have seen in some of the gameplays that I've posted in the past, sort of connecting the dots together to improve your skills or join them together or what have you. Now, equipment in the game can be achieved through farming. Unfortunately, you're going to have to kill a lot of monsters to achieve exactly what you want. But I've been told that the drop rate of like say legendaries or unique things is quite high so we're not going to be spend hours and hours and hours trying to find a new pair of shoes you know what i mean they're going to drop quite frequently as long as you can keep up the momentum of killing things now in the unboxing test we're going to have pvp and pve and the first episode act one to five is going to be in the unboxing test now i don't know what that means first episode is there going to be several episodes with one to five acts i don't know i haven't got a clue hopefully we'll find this out closer to global release and of course i will be reporting on all this in my videos until that point after the test ends the test the test is going to take place for one full week in case anyone's wondering crusade of glory is the pvp content now i'm not sure but going off the gameplay I have seen on this, it looks like a 3v3 mode. I might be mistaken there. This might be just, like, you know, sort of like showing it a little bit where they were like having a little battle. I don't know how many's actually on this. And I don't know what sort of layout it is. It's like a MOBA, you know, like point by point, a point capture or a capture the flag or anything like that. I haven't got a clue. It might just be pure kill each other, get the most kills. And we've got a boss raid boss raids i don't know how many there's going to be but eight people can part participate in a cooperative boss raid and I, as far as i'm aware the content is tailored so that you don't necessarily need a healer or a tank you can just all be what you want and have at it as best you can we'll also have the option to create a guild now i might do this i might not it depends how complicated it is in the korean language but you can have up to 15 users in your guild at any one time. I don't know if that's just for level 1 guilds. Maybe it'll increase as you increase in level. Haven't got a clue. We'll sharp find out. And last but not least, the auction house system is going to be in the game. So if you find stuff through farming that's not necessarily good for you, could be good for somebody else, put it on the auction house. Someone might buy it. So all in all, guys, lots of interest and content to sink my teeth into for one full week. I, myself, am very excited. I can't wait. I will actually not be that bothered it's in a different language, as long as I can sort of figure out what's going on with certain things. If, as long as I can do that, I'll be quite all right with it. 
So anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, make sure you subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you all on me live stream if I manage to get on the game okay tomorrow night, because I will be going live on it as soon as I've got access on the night time. I might do a little bit of a play before then off live, maybe to record or something. But until that point, I will be going live. So make sure you tune in, and I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.